You might wonder how it came about that uh, Scientology arose in a period of a few years. Actually, a quarter of a century is uh, the apparent amount of study on it as a subject. It might seem to you to be completely incredible that this much information would suddenly arise completely independent of source, other source. And yet, any man would be capable of doing such a thing if he simply concentrated on it and uh, if he looked instead of figuring about the whole thing. But uh, Scientology didn't arise spontaneously. It was very well backed up by an enormous amount of information. And the amount of knowledge which we have at this time is actually tremendous. I, I, I think offhand that there's probably more knowledge been accumulated in the last few years concerning the human mind than there's been accumulated in the last 10,000. That's, uh, that's not a brag. It's merely because one used everything that was known in those 10,000 years, and he used everything that he could see, and he used a world which had come up to the idea that we must be factual, not speculative, how we must prove everything we do, and we must observe everything and make sure it's true, and above all, we must get an effect. We must hit that blow. We must arrive. And having imbibed that lesson very, very well, I was very uh, determined that we would bring this investigation up to a level where it was intensely workable, not by some savant, some soothsayer, some mummified relic sitting on top of a mountain getting cold in the snow, uh, but by anybody who cared to use it, and that seemed to me to be an admirable goal. The main thing that we have uncovered today is the state of beingness which one uh, actually has. Instead of speculations about does man have a soul or doesn't man, we have data. We, we know exactly what a thing is. Uh, we know tremendous numbers of things with great accuracy. And furthermore, we also know that there aren't any more mysteries in terms of phenomena to know in the human mind or body. It's a very, very odd thing, but uh, we have shaken most of them out. On an examination of the whole track, we've found practically every gadget life has been uh, fond of using. And we find out that man can be free, and he is best off when he is free. And if we want to recover those periods of euphoria which individuals sometimes get, we would simply free an individual very, very thoroughly. A man can be free in one lifetime now, as far as he is concerned as a soul. Now that is interesting. Life has been working at it for an awful long time, been working at it hard, and it's time at least somebody won on this particular goal line, and I think we have done so.